Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw a regular heptagon inscribed in a given circumference. So to start, we are going to mark a point zero in the center of the paper, which is going to be the center point of the circle where the heptagon is going to be inscribed. So to continue, we are going to draw a horizontal line through the center point O, and we are going to mark a radius of 5 centimeters on the horizontal line, as can be seen here, obtaining a point P. You can choose any radius you want for the circumference or start uh, from any given circle. So the next step will be to draw the circumference where the regular heptagon that we are looking for will be inscribed. So setting our compass on point O and with a radius of 5 centimeters, we draw the circle. So to continue, we are going to draw a vertical diameter which cuts our circumference at points A and P, as shown here in the video. So the next step is to set our compass to the radius of the given circle and now with our compass centered on point P we are going to scribe an arc which cuts our circumference at two points. Which we will call M and N. The next step is to join points M and N with a horizontal line as can be seen here in the video and this line cuts our vertical diameter at a midpoint which we will call Q. We underline the line segment MQ which is going to be the length of the side of our heptagon that we are looking for. So the next step is setting our compass to the length MQ. We will set our compass on the point A of the circumference and we will continue to scribe seven arcs of equal length which will be the vertices of our heptagon. To balance the small errors we have, we are going to place the points on the left and the right starting from vertex A as can be seen here in the video. And if we have been working with precision and accuracy, the last side, the horizontal side of the bottom, has to measure the same as the rest. You can see that, indeed, it is. So now that we have our seven vertices of the heptagon that we are looking to draw, we will name them A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And the final step is in a thicker line, is to join these vertices. So using our set square, starting at point A, we'll join vertex B to A. Now C to B. C to D, D to E, E to F, F to G, And finally, we will close our seven-sided regular polygon or heptagon, joining the last vertex A to G.
So I hope this video has helped you. Please press like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until the next video, thank you very much.